Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you all my favorite bronzers like for pale skin. Like my bronzers, just my go-to bronzers that I like to use. And I'm calling this like my pale skin bronzers because I'm pale. <laughs> and these are the bronzers that I reach for the most. I also have some like highlight and contour palettes, but I'm considering considering those bronzers as well because I have shades in those palettes that I use as bronzers. And I know I'm not like the fairest of the fair, but just to give you a reference, whenever I went to the MAC counter and got a color match to my foundation, the foundation that they color matched me to was NW13. My first favorite should not come as any surprise to you guys. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. And I love this one. It is a good, semi-matte bronzer like it's not matte and it doesn't have um like glitter in it it just has a nice like shimmer or sheen to it and it's really good for fair skin like it's not too dark it's not too light and the shade that i have in this is in light they also have medium and dark if you are a darker skin tone um, but yeah, it's a really beautiful shade. I love it. I can also get away with using this as a contour as well just because it is a little bit more cool toned. Um, it's not super cool toned and I'm pretty sure the only place where you can pick this up is at Walmart. My next favorite, which has been a long time bronzer favorite for me, is the NARS Laguna. And this is an awesome bronzer for fair skin. It's actually very similar to the bronze it, the L'Oreal bronze it. Like as you can see shade wise they're very similar and this one also has a sheen to it. The L'Oreal bronze it might be a little like have a little bit more sheen in it than the NARS Laguna but as you can see they're very similar so probably if you want to find a good affordable dupe to this get the bronze it. Another favorite bronzer is the Physicians Formula uh, Bronzer in Bronzer. They also make one lighter than this. This is called, that's called Light Bronzer. So if you are super fair, get that one. But this one is a step up from that bronzer. And this one is still like fairly light. Like as you can see, all these are still kind of in the same family tone. I know it's kind of hard to tell because I have it weighed on here, but next to let me swatch it next to the bronze it so you can see the difference between those two. But between the Physician's Formula and the bronze it, you can see that the Physician's Formula is a little bit more warm toned and it is a little lighter than the bronze it. So I have people ask me, I have you guys ask me like which one I like better or which one I prefer. And I like both of these, but if I had to like pick which one was like my favorite of the two, like if I had to just like my ultimate favorite between these two, I would pick the L'Oreal Bronze It. I don't know, I just tend to reach for this one more. I think maybe because it is a little bit more cool toned than this one, but I still really love this one as well. They're both really pretty. If the smell of this one bothers you, then maybe get the bronze it instead of this one. But like I said, I love both. And I actually like the smell of this. Like it makes me think of like sunscreen and the beach. I love it. So yeah, I mean, it's still one of my favorites. Okay, this bronzer here, which is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. This bronzer is so, so good for really fair pale skin. It's my lightest bronzer that I have in my collection. And I'm just gonna swatch it below the physician the physician's formula. And this wet and wild, as you can see, it's down here. The wet and wild one is lighter than all the other ones, and it is more on like the warm tone side. It does have a little bit of a sheen in it. So with this bronzer, I don't use that one for contouring. I like to use this one when I want a really sun-kissed glow. Now in the middle of summer, sometimes this is a little too light for me to use, but this is perfect in the fall and winter and spring when I just want to warm my face up a little bit. Like I said, I don't use this as a contour because it is too warm for that. Um, and if you are like really cool skin toned, this might look a little orange on you. So if you are a pale 
warm skin tone, this would be perfect. Now, the ones that I'm gonna, the ones that I'm going to move on to next are in contouring palettes. So this palette right here, I just picked this up not too long ago. This is the BH Studio Pro Shape and Define Tin Color Contour Palette. This contour palette is awesome. In some ways, like I'm starting to fall in love with this more than my NYX palette and my e.l.f. one. I mean, I still like my NYX and e.l.f. palettes, but this one is really good and this one is awesome for really fair skin because a lot of these bronzers, especially the ones here in the front, are really light. Some of these, like these two, I can't really even use um, as like bronzers, I don't really think, because they're pretty light. I mean, maybe I could. I haven't attempted to use them yet as bronzers, but they are really light. Let me just swatch all these bottom ones for you so you can see um, what they look like. Gotta get my sleeve up. I'm gonna get bronzer all over it. <laughs> and somehow I got like a bruise on my arm and I seriously do not know how I did that. Okay, so man, my stupid arm. I forget that my arm is like this. Let me stand up. I'm just gonna show you guys this way. Um, my arm twists. I guess everybody's arm does that. Okay, but these are the bronzers in that uh, BH Studio Pro palette. And like these first three are really light, so I think they would be really good if you were really fair. The ones that I tend to use are the last two, and sometimes this one. I like to use these two for bronzing, and then for contouring, I like to go in with a little bit of this one. So yeah, I love that palette. Like the shades in that BH Cosmetics palette, like they are so easy to blend out. They do not look patchy on the skin at all. Like sometimes with matte bronzers that have issues with that happening, like with them getting patchy with that palette, you don't have to worry about that. It blends out so nice. I'm wearing that on um, as my bronzer today, just the second to last shade, that color right there. Um, so yeah, they all blend out really nice. This also doubles as a good eyeshadow palette as well. I love the highlight shades for like um, setting your under eye concealer and for like highlighting. So yeah, it's really good and I highly recommend this. It's definitely becoming a staple in my makeup collection. Okay, and then with my NYX, I'm probably not gonna swatch all of like the contours in here. I'm just gonna share with you guys the ones that are my favorite that I tend to use a lot. But for my bronzer, my favorite shade in here for bronzer is this color. And I'll swatch this. This is also another really great palette. Like it doesn't get splotchy at all. And it's really nice. This color is more of like a cool toned bronzer as you can see there compared to my other ones. It's a lot more cool tones. If you are like a fair cool tone, like <laughs> if you are a fair cool skin tone, that would be a really good bronzer for you. And that also doubles as like a nice bronzer contour shade. Um, with my e.l.f. contour palette, this is another one of my favorites. I love this color here for bronzing and this for contouring. And I'll go ahead and swatch the bronzer so you can see it next to my other bronzers. And that color is matte, this e.l.f. bronzer. And I know like this e.l.f. Uh, contouring palette is really affordable. I want to say it's like six dollars. So that's that shade there of the e.l.f. palette. That's pretty comparable to some of the shades in the BH Cosmetics palette. Um, so that is more warm than the NYX. So I usually just use that shade for bronzing, but I love all the other colors in this e.l.f. palette, as you can tell. Like, I love this for a highlight, that for setting under eye concealer, contouring, bronzing. I mean, it is all around like a really great palette. And then my last favorite bronzer for pale skin is also in another e.l.f. palette. This is the Cream Contour Palette. Yeah, the Cream Contour. I usually only use this color up here for bronzing and it is a really beautiful bronzer. I'll just swatch it up here. So maybe if you're not into these powder products and you want a cream, 
This is a really beautiful cream bronzer, so pretty. Usually if I want a contour, I'll go in with one of these two shades, just a little bit of it to contour. But honestly, with this color here, it's not too warm and it's not too cool tone, so you can kind of get away with using it as like a bronzer contour. So yeah, those are all of my favorite bronzers for pale or fair skin. I hope that you guys did enjoy this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what other kind of favorites video you would like to see done like this. I was doing like a top five favorites and sometimes my products don't always fit. And like a top five favorites like and I really wanted to mention everything that I love if you are new please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in the next one bye bye